Hey there Cancer, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be a general reading for you guys for the month of July. We're going to go over work, money, and love. Okay, we're going to do two love spreads at the end. And we're also going to do a question. Okay, so Cancer, I'm going to go ahead and get on into this for you guys. Um, so if you find that the message is not resonating with you, you're more than welcome to stick around or skip around. I'm not reading in a straight line. So you may find a story or a message that is meant for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here for cancer. Also, you guys, these are life purpose oracle deck or oracle cards, so they are going to focus on life purpose, but this doesn't necessarily mean this is your life purpose. This is the one thing you have to do for the rest of forever. That's not necessarily what that means. This could just be a season that you're in right now or a season you're moving into. Uh, don't put so much pressure on that one thing, okay? So talk to your angels. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. That's what's showing up uh, as the overall energy here. Some of you, you're frustrated, you're having trouble finding abundance or finding a job, um, finding something that's worth your time, uh, where it is that you are physically. So some of you guys, you may end up having to travel or move for a new opportunity, okay? Your life purpose involves traveling. Some of you could be photographers, okay? And we also have teaching. You aspire young people to learn. Alright, so this doesn't mean that you have to literally be in a classroom, okay? You could be a light worker, you know? Um, you could be, um, you could run a home daycare, right? You could do spiritual work, energy work, okay? So we have heart's desires. The angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become a reality, alright? Teaching, you could also be a counselor, psychologist. God, there's so many things that you can do where you're teaching somebody something. It's literally almost everything you do, you're teaching someone a lesson, right? So give me travel. What's going on with travel for cancer and work? This is the work portion, you guys, and then we're going to get into money, okay? What's going on with travel for cancer, July, work? <laughs> Does that not say it right there? Movement. So I definitely see you guys traveling in July or just moving up the ladder in general with work. Travel doesn't have to mean that you're moving physical locations. A lot of you, I feel like there's going to be a new opportunity. The full card, taking a leap of faith on something new, um, taking a risk, okay? So uh, doing what's never been done before, doing something that, you know, you are not familiar with, right? So I feel like this is going to be very different from what you're used to. Some of you could be driving here cancer, okay? So you could work for Uber or DoorDash or Grubhub or something of that nature, right? It could be something like that, okay? I just feel like there's this emphasis on movement and work. This could be a promotion, all right? It doesn't have to mean that you're physically moving. You could be moving positions, okay? Or just elevating energetically, all right? So you guys, uh, you could be doing something here where it could be... Um, like, for example, if you've had conflict in the workplace, um, there could be a peaceful resolution, okay? That's elevating your energy. Teaching, we're getting the Three of Swords, Saturn and Libra, all right? You inspire young people to learn. Give me one more for this energy here. Some of you are definitely healers with the Three of Swords. To, yep, Four of Swords. You move from the Three of Swords to the Four of Swords. You are definitely healers. You bring in new perspectives, um, philosophies. All right, um, awakenings. You trigger awakenings within people here. Um, guide, you just give guidance in general, okay? Uh, you, ha you even have two figures up here in the window on the Four of Swords. You have um, an adult and a child. So that doesn't mean that you are working with you know, children, uh, per se, but I feel like you are giving guidance, all right? You've experienced a lot of this heartbreak yourself. You're an advisor of some sort for some of you guys, but that three of swords, you know, you move to the four of swords and those three swords are no longer probing him in the heart because he's resting on this sort of clarity, the sort of truth, okay? So I feel like you bring in new perspectives for people, you change their stories for them or you tell them what story to tell themselves going forward, Cancer, in order to have some kind of healing. So it seems like you get people out of toxic cycles in some way, shape, or form. So um, I like that energy a lot for you guys. That could be something that you're um, doing now. You're healing yourself. So that could be something that you're doing in the future. So in the month of July, you could be getting practice with that on yourself, okay? You could be Reiki healers. You know, this person's laying down right here. You could be therapists. You know, it could be anything. Don't don't focus too much on the career. Just focus on the message, okay? Heart's desires. Clarify heart's desires here. A lot of you are struggling with a decision. Three of Swords, you're stuck at a crossroads in regards to what you want to do. Some of you have three specific passions or three specific ideas. I feel intuitively like saying the second one. You got the two of cups there. I feel intuitively like saying the second one is the path that you're going to take first. So if that's for you, 
Somebody may be opening a salon as well. I don't know why I'm getting that. Somebody might be opening a salon. I'm getting a lot of Capricorn energy all of a sudden. You could have Capricorn in your chart. Queen of Cups under Heart's Desires. Yeah, I feel like you're way too in your head. You're way too in your head about um, what it is that you're going to do. Just go where you feel pulled, okay? Go go where you feel pulled, all right? Um, you're not going to have all the answers right off the bat. They're, they're going to come in eventually, all right? So she's got this open shell right up here on the throne, if you notice that. She's really focused on that closed cup. Some of you, you could have failed at something that you tried to do in the past here. Um, not really failed, but you learned a lesson, okay, is what I feel like saying here. Um, but the closed cup there, I feel like you're really focused on a door that is closed, something that you can't access at this point in time. Uh, so there's a lot of emphasis on that rather than new opportunities, rather than solutions, you know what I mean? So there's something about that here where I feel like you're very in your head about what you can accomplish, what you can achieve in the current energy. Give me one more on this, please. devil capricorn energy okay so yeah i feel like this is fear that's honestly i feel like it's fear that's holding you back look at travel please can you look at travel please the nine of pentacles comfort okay this this is a card of enjoying the finer things in life some of you money's all right where you are but it's like, is there fulfillment? You know, is there fulfillment? Because the only place we have cups showing up anywhere in these cards is the Queen of Cups and it's under heart's desire. So it's something you desire, not necessarily something you have. Um, so the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like you guys could be staying comfortable, trying to stay put. Uh, you're, you're struggling with whether or not you want to move on something or move somewhere for a job. But I feel like Spirit's saying to go for that. Talk to your angels instead of worrying. Ask for divine guidance. The answers are going to come when they're meant to come. You're not going to have all the answers before you make the decision. You're just going to have to make the decision and find out. All right? So... <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting here. That devil card, I feel like it's just fear holding you back. Take the leap of faith. Take the leap of faith, you guys. So let's move on to money. If there's been some kind of relationship obstacle within the workplace, if you've had a bad relationship with an authority figure, or with a co-worker, I feel like that's going to be um, healed. Okay, there's going to be some kind of resolution with that. You're going to be talking to the people higher up. All right, there could be a meeting. Well, now, let's look at money for you here, Cancer. What's going on for cancers and money? And you guys, we're going to have a yes or no question at the very end. I did forget to do that one for Aries and Taurus, the yes or no question. So, um, you know, just think of your question and we're going to do that at the end. And they actually put theirs in the community tab. So let's go ahead. Cancer, money. Wow, you guys, we have opportunity on the bottom for money. We have get more information, we have no, and we have unlikely. So we're going to figure out what's going on with those cards, okay? What's going on with get more information? Page of Pentacles, how about no? Queen of Wands, and how about unlikely? Four of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are really hoping for money to get better where you are without doing anything, and it's not going to happen, okay? It, I'm sorry. You have to get more information, and then you have the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like there is information that's available to a lot of you guys, but you're, there's a path that you're just not willing to go down. You're like, I'm not comfortable. I've never really done that before. What if this happens? What if that happens? That's the vibe that I'm picking up on here, but you have opportunity. So they're saying there's a new opportunity here. So just know that if things stop working out for you or if money comes to a halt, it's because they want you to explore this new opportunity. Underneath, no, you have the Queen of Wands. So yeah, they're saying no, commit to this new path. Commit to that new path. That's really the main message that's coming in here. So strongly, Cancer. So some of you guys, you want to move on something new, but you're trying to stay comfortable. You're meant to move on that new thing, okay? Because they're going to bring everything to a stop if you don't, all right? Underneath unlikely, we have the Four of Pentacles. Is your financial situation going to change? I don't think so. I think you're going to have to commit to this new opportunity here, okay? So however money has been, I feel like it's going to stay the same or it's going to slow down, all right? But you can change that, all right? You can definitely change that. I don't feel like there's anything like super drastic happening here, but I just don't feel like anything is improving in the situation that you're staying in, okay? In regards to money in the month of July, unfortunately. But the good news is with that page of pentacles, I feel like there is an opportunity. And again, you did have a new opportunity um, on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like there... There's a, something here that you need to take a chance on, okay? So, and I feel like in that case, money will improve, okay? So, all right. 
Let's move on to love messages. Now guys, for these we're doing uh, two different spreads. So we're going to do love messages and then we're going to do um, romance, uh, romance angels, okay? We're going to be clarifying with tarot. Any love messages here for Cancer? Love messages here for Cancer. Three and an overall energy. Wow. Overall energy, don't expect to find me where you left me. I feel like you guys are dealing with more than one person here, or there's just a past person showing through and you've moved on. Because I'm really drawn to these right here. Um, these two. I don't know why you picked me, but I'm so happy. All right, so there's somebody here who I just don't feel as if they have a lot of confidence in themselves. You also have hopefully someday, but this first one is had to leave before I was left. Had to leave before I was left, and the overall energy is don't expect to find me where you left me. So there's somebody here. I feel they're going to end up wanting to come back around to you, but I don't feel like you're going to be there anymore. I think that you've moved on. All right, so let me look at had to leave before I was left. What's going on here? Ten of Swords. It could have been a Gemini here, Cancer. Give me one more on this. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this person has major abandonment issues. It's like as soon as they get close to someone, they shut them out. Okay, they shut them out. They ghost them. Um, or they find something wrong with them. They nitpick. They pick this person apart. All right. Um, whoever, you know, whoever they're connecting with at the time, they pick them apart. Uh, because I feel like there's something within them that feels like if they, if they... If they connect with someone strongly enough, then other people can connect with that person too, and they will be left, okay? And there's something about that here where this person may have struggled in the past with uh, being, like, I feel like they, they've been stuck in cycles of being um, left behind for uh, another person, okay? So there's something about that here. I couldn't get the message out the way that it was trying to come out, so I don't know what that was about. Give me, I don't know why you picked me, but I'm so happy. Somebody could have Mercury and Taurus. the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. Wow, you guys. Divine Connection. Judgment card here. So yeah, I feel like you are really clicking with someone. You're really, really vibing with someone here. Um, wow, two Aces right underneath that. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Queen of Wands. Commitment, you guys, commitment. There's a lot of passion here, okay? Not only passion, but there's love. There's a connection, okay? There's meaningful conversation. Um, it just flows. It flows effortlessly. It flows naturally. I feel like you're dealing with a person who you're really boosting this person's confidence. They feel very special to uh, have been chosen by you. So this could be a water sign or somebody with Venus in Cancer. Um, let's look at hopefully someday. Could uh, also be an Aries for some. Let's look at hopefully someday. For Cancer. For those of you where this message is not resonating, Nine of Wands, Moon in Sagittarius, and the Emperor, Aries. Uh, for those of you where this message is not resonating, we're doing the Romance Angel Spread after, so stick around for that one. Hopefully someday you have the Nine of Wands. So I feel like you guys are getting into a new commitment, and there's somebody here from the past. Um, I feel like somebody had plans to come back around to you. I don't feel that... Yeah, I don't feel that you'd be open to it, but I feel like saying, because I feel like I just changed somebody's mind here, all right, about this new person, because somebody's been waiting on this person here, uh, but I definitely feel like you should be picking this new offer for sure. You should be taking action on the new offer here, uh, because this person, even though they want to be with you, hopefully someday, hopefully someday I'll get over everything. Hopefully someday I'll get over my trust issues, my abandonment issues, and I want commitment with this person. Um, you know, I feel like that's actually, they're, ne they're never going to be in touch with their emotions and the current energy, the way that they are, they have so much work to do. They have so much work to do with this person. They've already done the work. You know, there's no, there's nothing like this that you have to deal with. Emperor, a very stubborn, head over heart, uh, kind of energy. So yeah, I feel like this person that, uh, you're dealing with from the past, they really lead with logic. And I think that they want, they want something with you, but at the same time, I feel like they, they want you to wait until they're ready for a cancer. So there's something about that where I see you moving on to someone new, all right? And just because, you know, you've gotten this information that they're waiting or that they um, are working on something, I don't want you to pass this opportunity up, okay? If you're meant to be with this person, it'll happen one day, okay? Uh, but I feel like right now there's a very strong soulmate connection coming in for you. So focus on that. Yeah, four of wands. I mean, it looks amazing, you guys. So let's go ahead and look at the Romance Angels and see if there's any different messages coming through. You guys, get your um, 
yes or no questions in mind because after we do this one, uh, we're going to be asking that. It's a one question, yes or no, okay? So. Wow. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. I was spilling that off that Two of Cups, okay? Um, we also have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. We have wedding. This situation involves marriage, all right? Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Some of you, um, this doesn't want to apply to those uh, past messages, but for some of you, there's someone here who's trying to get their finances in order so they can come towards you. Um, they, they want to have something to offer, so there's something with that for some of you. It could be a Sagittarius. Give me a card to clarify each of these here for Cancer. Wow. Man, I did not expect that. Worth waiting for. Under worth waiting for, you have uh, Two of Swords. So you guys could be dealing with someone who has their Moon and Libra. For a lot of you guys, I feel like you're stuck at a crossroads in regards to who you want to pick in a situation. Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're stuck at a crossroads here. Some of you guys... Some of you, somebody's going to come in and they really have a way with words, okay? They really have a way with words. Very smooth talking, King of Wands reverse kind of energy that I'm picking up on here. Um, very just magician reverse like. I feel like there's somebody here, Cancer, who um, knows how to manipulate or they know, they've dealt with you before, okay? They know how to pull on your uh, heartstrings, okay? I don't feel like they're looking for anything serious. I think they just want to keep you open and available. But I feel like you've waited on a connection like this one, the one that you have now, okay? The one that you're getting into. Um, so yeah, I mean, I really feel like there's part of you that wants to pass this up and try this past person again. Do not do it. We have wedding here. This situation involves marriage. Seven of Wands. You guys, you could be blocking somebody out here who's willing to go the long haul with you. Give me one more for the Seven of Wands wedding. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person, they're, they're ready to commit to you. This could be a Virgo for some of you guys. How about finances and career? The Magician. Okay, yeah. And there's that, there's that energy because I feel like this person, whoever this is that's working on their finances and career, this past person, um, they've, they've tweaked something here, but they've not tweaked the way that they treat people. There's something about that here. So uh, they've improved in some area of their life, but it's not the one that's necessary, okay? Um, so yeah, I definitely feel like there are relationship obstacles with this person, and it could involve money or stability, all right? And I feel like they've healed some part of that, okay? And it's just, I don't feel like their energy is any different, all right? I still feel like they're the same manipulative magician with tricks up their sleeves. There are tricks their energy, you guys, and they're causing relationship obstacles. They're causing blockages with this person, who you have a really strong connection with, honeymoon, new love. I mean, my goodness, you guys, forgiving and learning. So yeah, you can forgive this person and let them go so you can get to know this other person because I feel like it's going to go all the way with this new person for sure. I mean, you have honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, yeah. And then you have a past person stirring your romantic feelings. So I definitely feel like you guys need to pick this new person. Yeah, you guys definitely need to pick this new person. It's such a strong connection. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the... Um, question. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you've waited for this kind of growth. I feel like you've waited to be nurtured um, and loved like this. And it's just like, nobody else is going to do it like this person, Cancer. So let's go ahead and get the question out. Sorry, you guys. Yes or no question for Cancer. Yes or no for cancer. Is it going to be yes or no for cancer? Yes. Yes, you have yes. All right. Um, so that's what I'm getting for you guys. I uh, hope this was helpful. Now, you guys can watch out for your other signs if you don't know your other signs. Um, I am going to have a link in the comment section where you guys can go and put in your information and uh, you can find out what your other signs are and watch out for those. Um, there's also going to be a link down there to another reading I've done for cancer here recently if you guys want to check that out. But if this is where we part, thank you all so much for watching and supporting me and you enjoy your month. Bye.